I, I definitely like to sort of look for things that you know are sort of kind of hiding in plain sight. Mm -hmm. And so you know, I think one example is I'm really proud of like the stories we've done about YouTube in the last several years, and that you know I think because YouTube you know is owned by Google, and sort of people kind of forget like yeah. just how insanely massive it is and, and um, you know that, that if it were you know independent that it would basically be you know right there on par with Facebook in terms mm -hmm. of um, you know users and you know maybe you know valuation you know as well and so you know like we were really the first sort of magazine to like realize like wow they had kind of sort of figured this out and mm -hmm. were you know were making you know money and then really you know kind of you know turned this thing around and built this really interesting you know, um, you know, community, you know, and, you know, that was, you know, I guess the story ran yeah. or almost four years ago, it was mm -hmm. early 2011. And then, you know, sort of been able to follow that story, you know, and sort of check in on it, you know, a couple of times, most recently did a feature, I guess, in September on, you know, uh, Susan Wojcicki and sort of the change she's making mm -hmm. and sort of dealing with all the, the, you know, the challenges of sort of everyone else now seeing the opportunity around, you know, video and, and you know, having to compete against, you know, Facebook and maybe Twitter and, you know, maybe Yahoo slash Tumblr and, yeah. and you know, whoever else. And so, uh, so something like that that's just sort of right there and, like, you know, people people know YouTube and, and sort of obviously know it from, like, their experience of it, but don't necessarily realize just how, you know, again, like, just it feels how like big it is and how global and important it is and, and important to Google, you know, yeah. too. And, it feels like plumbing in many ways. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, back to Pluto TV. Guys, the point is, good product guy, serial entrepreneur for like two decades. Um, I think he came out like MIT or whatever. Hmm. You know, like, whatever. Yeah, I don't know their background. Stumble upon this. Um, okay. So yeah, but like, what do you like about Pluto TV? I mean, well, so what I, I like about it is it's it's it actually goes back to the old times when you used to turn on the TV and you you know flip through channels right. and. You know, it seems really archaic, but I kind of miss it slightly. I kind of miss it the same way I miss browsing uh, for movies at Blockbuster Video, which is yeah. really strange. There's something about it where it, it's just like kind of lean back experience. Um, and, you know, when I go there, I, I usually go to like the startup or sorry, the stand up uh, channel. I really like stand up comedy. Yeah, me too. But when I go to YouTube, I have to search for a specific stand up comedian. They're usually four minutes long. When it's done, I have to now choose and think, okay, now I want to watch this right. one. So it's a lot of effort and thinking, and really what I want is just something either in the background or just something to, to veg out to. So Pluto, I, I just like how simple it is. And um, they also do have different channels that are kind of experimental and uh, topic-based or theme-based. Um, so you can kind of, like, just like our collections, yeah. like every day there, there could be a different channel and a different theme that's maybe relevant to what's going on in the world or something. Yeah, I mean, I, I uh, you know, I think right around the time they launched, which was, yeah. Probably a year ago? Or maybe, well. It wasn't too long ago, but I mean, it was. Yeah, I mean, it was six to 12 months. I yeah, you might be right. Yeah. yeah, I don't have a sense of sort of how it's going, but, um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've checked it out. I think, I mean, I agree. I think it's an interesting, you know, I think it's right. I mean, you know, the... You do have to kind of know what you want to watch yeah. it. You know, mm -hmm. I think YouTube, you know, at least had it. You know, there was a time where, like, YouTube was trying to do a little more with, um, you know, sort of like, hey, here's what's happening that you need to be watching yeah. today. Yeah. And, and I got away from that, and I, I still feel like that was a mistake. Yeah. You know, that there are still people who are just like, you know what, I want to know, like, what's whatever, and I, maybe I'm missing it in my, you know, Facebook or Twitter feed, and, you know, I don't have the time to sort of keep up with every meeting <laughs> whatever, but, you know, exactly. like, you, you have thousands of people probably, you know, so you can have, surely somebody could, you know, sort of be that curator to, mm -hmm. to do that. It, it's still a good idea. Um, and, you know, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I think, you know, at this point, YouTube is sort of more focused on, um, you know, I think both getting, like, companies to think about creating mm -hmm. content, and then, because then they're going to have to buy advertising to get anybody to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and, and, you know, and sort of retaining their stars by offering them sort of, you know, money to do more ambitious programming, and which is good. I think yeah. that's great. And perhaps the way you got early in, you know, really covering YouTube four years from now, you might say about product time. And yeah, I mean, look, I think it's really interesting. I was, and I'm, yeah, I, was, I, I still don't, I can't remember exactly, but I feel like I did, honestly, I think I did first hear about the podcast. And then, oh, really? And I was like, wow, hmm. I, I, you know, that sounds cool. Like, I, I, yeah, um, report mom. And so uh, I hope that's the first time that word has been used here. Um, the, uh, word of the day. And, uh, but yeah, but then like, as he started, when I was like actors and musicians and just felt a little more typical, I, hmm. I got kind of bored with it. But, um, 
But yeah, I mean, it's a good podcast. Cool. Well, thanks for coming on. No, thank you. It's fun. Thanks. Thanks.